If you're a sole trader or a limited company and you are about to or are already up and trading, a common question that often arises is when must you register for VAT? That is value added tax here in the UK. In this video, we will cover who can register for VAT in the UK, when must you register for VAT, and finally, when do you start charging VAT? Before I get into today's video, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to make sure you're kept up to date with all of our latest content. This really helps us to produce more helpful videos and to get you real quality advice from real qualified accountants. Essentially, if you operate as a sole trader, partnership, limited company, or an LLP, you can register for VAT. And even if you are a non-UK legal entity making direct sales into the UK, you may have to register for UK VAT. At the beginning of April, we granted early access to the Accounting and Tax Academy membership site. In July of this year, we're opening our doors to everyone. Our members will have access to in-depth tutorials, free downloads, and exclusive discounts. And the best part is it's absolutely free to join. Head to the link in the description box below to register your interest today. Now, this is where it can get a little tricky. Legally, you must register for VAT when either of the following criteria are reached. Number one, your VAT taxable turnover exceeds the current threshold of £85,000 on what is known as a 12-month rolling basis. Number two, you expect your VAT taxable turnover to exceed the threshold in a single 30-day period. And number three, you are a UK business and exceed one of the distant selling thresholds on EU sales in the last calendar. In the year. Number four, you are a non-UK EU business and exceed the UK distance selling threshold. And finally, number five, you are a non-UK business and you intend to sell goods from a warehouse in the UK, including drop shipping. Let's illustrate criteria one, the most common trigger, with an example. You are a business operating through a limited company supplying goods and services in the UK and your 12-month cumulative rolling VAT taxable turnover is as follows. Between the 1st of January 2021 and the 31st of December 21, it is £76,000. So by the 31st of December 21, you are not legally obliged to register for VAT as your VAT taxable turnover has not exceeded the rolling £85,000. Between the 1st of Feb 21 and the 31st of Jan 22, it is £80,000. Once again, by the 31st of Jan 22, on this 12-month rolling basis, you are still not legally obliged to register for VAT as your VAT taxable turnover has not exceeded the £85,000 threshold. But it is very close and the likelihood it will surpass the threshold is now quite high based on the numbers. The second point of you expect your VAT taxable turnover to exceed the threshold in a single 30-day period can come into play here. And if that is the case, you should be looking to register. Between the 1st of March 2021 and the 28th of February 22, it is £90,000. Now, in this 12-month rollover period, your VAT taxable turnover has hit £90,000 by the end of 28th of Feb 22. You must now legally register for VAT and you have to do it within 30 days of meeting the criteria. So in this example, you will have until the 31st of March 2022 to submit your VAT registration. And what's more, let us suppose you are making an application to register for VAT midway through March 22, you can backdate the effective registration date. So for example, make it the 1st of March 2022. But a word of caution here, as you must start charging VAT from the effective date. More on this in the next section of this video. And another word of caution, if you know your turnover will reach the threshold soon, you should allow enough time to register. If you fail to notify HMRC in time, you may be liable to pay a penalty. You can register online directly with HMRC or use the services of an accountant to do this. Remember, you can register for VAT voluntarily, even if your VAT taxable turnover is below the current threshold. It may be beneficial to do this prior to reaching the thresholds if the numbers work for you and your business. You must start charging VAT from the first day of the second month after you exceed the threshold. So in our example above, the threshold was exceeded at some point in February 2022. Therefore, you must start charging from the 1st of March 22, and this will be your VAT registration effective date. Bear in mind, if you do backdate your VAT registration effective date, then you will have to charge VAT on any sales invoices you raised earlier that did not have any VAT levied if they fall into the VAT registration period. So for example, if you raised an 
invoice on the 3rd of March 21 with no VAT as at that point you were not officially VAT registered. Once your VAT registration comes through with an effective date of the 1st of March 2022, you will have to raise a VAT invoice. And likewise with any VAT incurred from the 1st of March 22, you can now claim this back as what is known as input VAT. I hope this video has helped you understand when you must register with VAT and has taken you one step closer to knowing your numbers. As always, let me know in the comments your thoughts on today's video or if there are any topics you'd like us to cover in the future. Finally, be sure to like and subscribe as this really does help us to get our content out there. This is Tony D'Angelo of the Accounting and Tax Academy. Thanks for tuning in.